Here comes something we thought would never happen. An Amazon Fire laptop? Well, that's not what they're calling it, but that's what they're advertising it as. All of the promotional information, advertisement, their website, the video, and all of the packaging shows you that this is the one-stop shop to productivity solution, with its optional keyboard, case, and accompanying stylus. You can expect that this is an Amazon Fire for all intents and purposes, but what do these additional peripherals bring to the experience? Here is the home screen and UI elements, everybody. Now, the thing about a Amazon Fire device is that it's not going to be anything new if you've ever had one before. It's going to be more of the same, but just in a wider kind of stance. If you swipe the top down, you get all of your alerts. You get your brightness and your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth. And if you swipe down even more, you get Alexa hands-free and a bunch of other things, even like dark theme, which is the entire device flipping from black to white, white to black, especially if you have eye problems, it's good to do that. In your settings, you have everything under the sun. You have install from unknown sources, which was the most important thing, I believe, in the world of Android devices, allowing you to craft your own experience. Or if you don't want to do that, you can go over to the App Store and you can download things from the Amazon App Store directly. You will notice that there is something funny about the keyboard in such a way where that they give you that. But watch what you can do. You can actually separate it into more of an ergonomic keyboard because it's a wide stance. This this is not very easy to handle. In fact, if you see, my hands are average sized and these keys are very small. I'm not going to be emulating and simulating my actual keyboard anytime soon, but that's what the keyboard is for if you were to get the extended package. Yes, they actually have a Fire Max keyboard, which we will show you in the keyboard section. For now, you can go home and expect to enjoy everything that you can conceive right here under one roof because they have all of your apps. They have Netflix, they have YouTube, they have TikTok, they have Instagram. They keep you in the Amazon ecosystem when it comes to browsing, when it comes to shopping, when it comes to music, photos, Alexa, video, kids. Everything is just Amazon, which is why these devices are are inherently a little bit cheaper than other devices because they get it to your hands cheaper so you can start signing up for services after the fact. What we want to do now is look at books because that's what this is all about. In fact, one of the three things is your library. So let's open up a book and see what it looks like. It is going to start with a two-page spread, and that's because this is a landscape-oriented device. You can change that, and you can change a bunch of things in the back end here. If you go over to the font area, you can change the brightness, you can change the font style, the font size, the layout, or even the theme. If you want something green, maybe it's easier on the eyes, or you just don't like looking at that, so you want tan, you can totally do that. Margins, line spacing alignments, and call. You can get rid of the two-page spread and go to more of a traditional book layout. We'll talk about the pen in the pen segment, but no, you can't take notes on the Kindle using the pen. In fact, if you try, it's not going to allow you. You can go and click note with your finger with the pen, but you can't actually type anything. You can go like that, click a couple times, and then start doing handwriting, but all it's going to do is transcribe it into the actual characters and not give you the ability to draw whatever you want because it's just not going to happen. If you do emojis, it's going to transmit, but it's not going to be the true raw drawing. So unlike the scribe, even though they give you a pen, you don't have any compatibility with the ebook itself. That being said, you can expect to take full leverage over everything that Amazon gives you from x-ray, flashcards, word runner, dictionary support. If you tap and long press on something, for example, this word, you get everything down here. Download a dictionary, Wikipedia, translate. You can box large amounts of text, go over to translate and change it from any language to any language you see on the drop down. If I want to translate this passage into Portuguese, it only takes a second and I've broken down the language barriers all thanks to Bing. Manga and graphic novels are going to look amazing on this unit because it's LCD LED. This is not using e-paper. If you swipe your comics like this, it's going to look such high quality. This is a very, very high quality display. It's going to be worlds different than an e-reader if that's something you're already used to. Unfortunately, on things like comic books or even PDFs, you can't take notes right on them via the Amazon reading applications. That's going to come down to you downloading something from the App Store in order to do that. 
that. Overall, comics have absolutely no problem with pinch and zooms, refreshes, or any sort of slowdowns whatsoever. You always know where you are. There's a ton of screen real estate on here. It is a great experience. Not only that, if you head over to the Kindle store, you are going to find no shortage of manga, graphic novels, editorials, just tons of content here. Millions upon millions of things that you can ever conceive will be in the Amazon store. Now comes the part where we talk about this pen. At face value, it almost seems like this is Amazon's third pen after the regular pen and the premium pen for the scribe, but actually this is made for Amazon, not by Amazon. This actually comes from a company called Maxi out of China, and you'll see that they actually have the information and the model number on the back. So you can see while it is a certified pen, it is not made by Amazon, nor is it Wacom or anything like that. You will also notice that this this is not charged by USB, instead has a quadruple A battery in the back which is always a handful because they're not available everywhere, although it is beneficial because if you needed to swap it out to keep writing, you can do that. The pen is weighted a little bit silly because it's slightly back heavy because of that battery. You get that secondary button and the tips are extremely hard to pull out in which case they give you a pincer tool to get it out and only one replacement pen, although I'm not sure how much drawing you're going to do on this unit because it's not like you can take notes on the books or anything like that and it's basically just dedicated to a few applications like ink pad for example once you do have ink pad out the fingertip is going to do the exact same thing as any of the pen will the writing experience in terms of realism is awful it's a very glidey experience it's the same thing as if you were to get a plastic chopstick and draw in your house's window there's no difference there's absolutely no realism whatsoever there's nothing transmitting through the pen and the tip is just a simple plastic tip instead of a felt composite so it's doing nothing to aid you into giving you a realistic writing experience but this is all going to come down in terms of the functionality to the app you're using there are thousands of drawing apps and they will all work because they'll all work with your fingertip or the pen and no if you're wondering we did try a ton of different pens including the Apple pencil the Kobo Rakuten dedicated EMR and Wacom and none of them work on the Amazon Fire Max nor does the Scribe pen and this pen doesn't work on anything else. The front camera although it does have one lacks a flash package and is a little bit blurry. The back camera also lacks a flash package or light so when there is light it looks great but that's where it ends. Video playback has absolutely no issues whatsoever and you get stereo sound. Games are also encouraged as part of their app store is dedicated to games and Amazon makes their own controllers. As for the additional things you can do on this, really the choice is up to you. You can download anything you want on here, but be warned that if you do use a lot of the included services like Amazon Kids, it's going to tell you sign up for a free trial. You go over to Amazon Music, it's going to say sign up for a free trial. Prime Video, free trial. There's going to be all these things that your credit card is going to be billed for along the way if you just haphazardly click on things. So make sure you know that if indeed you don't want a trial of Amazon Music, you click the little thing that says no I don't want to do it. If I go over to Amazon Kids and I say do I want to start a free trial, say no I want to use my own content, etc. So you do have to make sure that although you get this for a good price, the after services that get thrown at you are plentiful. Take this tablet a step further by adding the keyboard case. Now this isn't included with the purchase, but if you do buy it separately, you get this nice canvas case. It does have a kickstand on it and it has a keyboard. So once you do have everything compiled, this is what to expect. Amazon's kind of giving you this productivity solutions approach to it with its accompanying pencil as well. You can use the pen to do things like sketching, you can go over to ink pad and draw, although it's just simulating your fingertip and doesn't exactly give you a better writing experience, it just feels very glassy. You can go home right there and this actually does snap to the side 
but only on the left side because it won't snap to the right side. It will hit a couple different points. You got to make sure it's adjusted accordingly. Once you have the keyboard in your hands here, you get a bunch of different functions. For example, they have dedicated buttons to lock your device. You can turn it back on like that, swipe up and back away you in. You do have a www button, in which case it goes right to the web browser. You can utilize your fingertip after that. You have an email button that goes right to the email. So you can type in someone's email, go back to the YouTube page that you were on and maybe say, hey, uh, everyone, this is my latest video. You have these kind of bounce betweens that are already predetermined on your keyboard. You can open up your file browser, which allows you to instantly browse your onboard storage or your SD card, grab the document that you want, sign it with the pen, go back to your email, email it off, Go back to the browser and do whatever you want from there. It does also have familiar keystrokes like alt tab, for example, will go in between applications. So I can go to my sketch. I can go over here to the app store and I can go over to my email directly. If I want to do that, you have caps lock, you have tab, you have enter, you have back. And if you don't want to touch the screen, you can actually go over here, for example, and click the back button. You do have a back button. You have a search button and you have a home button to go over. All the way back and yes that lock button can also turn the screen off so you can pack this all up and away you go P.S. If you're wondering, yes, you do get a mouse, only in the form of the touchpad, however. We haven't confirmed if other Bluetooth mice or mouses will work on this, but you do have the ability to utilize the cursor on screen, click on things, command them, and use it to the familiarity of what a mouse would do. You can even click on the back, home, and more buttons if you want. So in the end, is this a laptop? Not really, but kind of. The keyboard and case with built-in kickstand and optional stylus sure does make it seem like that's what they are trying to do. They even dedicate internet, email, and file manager as buttons on the keyboard that you can't change. Amazon has been making sweeping changes to their consumer electronics in the past few years, navigating their e-readers away from 6 inches, and expanding their Fire tablets multiple times a year. If you want to grab one of these, details are down below.